Hi. Uh, okay, so I only did three instead of four like I thought in the last video. And the fourth one, um, I'm sticking through in just the same way, except this one is going to follow the trunk and go up into the jig. Because this wire uh, that I'm placing in here, oh, it's going to be really hard for you to see. I'll try and explain this. Hopefully I'm not too close. Okay, I'm bringing that down. And you can just see right in the middle there, there's one of those uh, bendy over parts from the wires I added in the last video. You know, it's kind of got to have a U-shape because it goes to this trunk and this branch. And this one, I'm going to try and get it right in the middle of the U and pound it down in there so that it hides it really well. And so... Uh, I'm going to just uh, keep pulling it through here. And when it gets long enough to trace the track on the trunk, I will just simply put it in there and start following the track. And it looks to me to be this hole right here. Or this one. One of those, well, you probably can't see that. One of these two holes, I think, is where the, it's got to go into the jig. And then I'll just uh, tappy tap tap it in place. And then uh, I won't have to worry about hitting this one when I load up the jig next because it'll be right exactly where I want it to be, covering up the loops of that one. And this should look real nice. This transfer here should end up looking real nice now with those extra strands. Bye.